Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel Restaurant Management System project tutorial for beginner. In this tutorial, we are going to let the user remove the product from the card. For it, let's back to our code. And we'll go to our mygard.blade.php and here you can see we have the image th. So after this th, we are going to mention another th and this will be for the remove button. So let me send here remove. After that, we'll go inside the for each loop and inside for each loop after the image td, we're going to mention one more td for the remove button. So we are going to say here anchor tag inside this td and in this anchor tag, we're going to say delete. And for this anchor tag, we will also mention a bootstrap class. Let's say here class, it will be ptn, ptn, danger. And this of delete, let's say here remove and if we now just set this then if we now refresh here there you can see we have the remove button and what we want is when we click on remove button we want this data to be removed from the card for it what we need to do is really simple we are going to write the url here so let me just keep to second bracket then say url to first bracket to seal correction let's say the name uh, for this URL will be remove underscore card and we also need to get the ID since we want to remove a specific food data for it we just need to give a comma here then we need to say dollar data why dollar data because here you can see in the forest loop we have dollar data then we need to give this arrow sign and we want to get the ID because if you want to remove or delete anything you need to get the ID so right now we need to create a route for this for it we'll go to our routes then web.php and i'm going to just copy this route then paste it here and our route name was remove underscore card let me just copy this and we're going to say here remove underscore card we'll give a slash then to second bracket we also need to cache the id we'll use the home controller and the function name will be remove underscore card so let's go to our home controller and create this function. So we'll go to our home controller and we're going to send here public function remove underscore card to first bracket. First we'll cast the ID. Then we're going to say here or declare variable let's say dollar tata equal to we need to measure our card table model name which is card our clone will say fine to first bracket we need to mention the id this dollar id after that we want to delete it for it we need to say dollar tata this arrow sign delete and after deleting data we will send the user back to the same page so we will say return redirect it will be to first bracket this arrow sign back now we will set this but let me just explain what will happen is whenever someone click on this button it will call this route with the id and our route will call the home controller remove underscore card function and the remove underscore card function will get the id first then depending on that id it will find that uh, specific data in the card table and using this data we'll be able to delete data and send the user back to the same place so if you now save it then refresh here and if you now click it this data will be deleted so let me just click on this burger over here if i now click on it then you can see that data is deleted but what we want is that when you click on this uh, it will ask for a confirmation message for it what we are going to do is uh, inside this anchor tag we are going to say on click equal to to tower quotation return confirm then we we'll give to first bracket then to single quotation in this we are going to say our you sure to delete this so what will happen is whenever someone click on this remove button it will ask the user a question are you sure to delete this let's just say here remove this save it and let's refresh and let's 
click over here on this remove button it will ask you a question are you sure to remove this if you click cancel it will do nothing but if we click ok this data will be deleted there you can see this is all for this tutorial in the next tutorial we will let the user see the total price of the product that he added in the cart so thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials